In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this, or this. These are called Biosites, and these are from Squarespace, and they're actually free to go ahead and set up and start using, and they're pretty, pretty neat. So that's what we're gonna be taking a look at in today's video. I'm gonna show you how to set them up, how to make them look cool, and uh, all that stuff right after we run this intro. Before we dive into today's content, let's go ahead and pause for a moment to consider the value of making smart decisions. Speaking of which, we're thrilled to once again partner with Mint Mobile, the pioneers in transforming the wireless industry. They're dedicated to providing premium wireless service without that hefty price tag we've all come to dread. Ever find yourself puzzled by the sky-high cost of your wireless bill? Well, if so, Mint Mobile is on a mission to demonstrate that there's a smarter way to do things. For a limited time, new customers can enjoy any three-month plan for just $15 a month. That's correct. You were hearing that correctly. 50% off their unlimited plan. Imagine accessing the nation's largest 5G network, enjoying unlimited talk and text, and all the benefits of a high-tier wireless experience at half the cost. The transition to Mint Mobile is a breeze thanks to their eSIM technology. Many of you can seamlessly switch over from the comfort of your home in as little as 15 minutes. And for those of you that prefer a physical SIM card, Mint Mobile's got you covered there with a free SIM sent directly to your doorstep. Let go of the old, overpriced, and convoluted ways of wireless. Head over to trymintmobile.com forward slash how to tech to snag this incredible offer and get premium wireless for just $15 a month. My wife and I jumped on the Mint Mobile bandwagon over a year ago, and we've been fans ever since. Who can resist the allure of significant savings? What's going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Biosites. These are pretty neat, and I'm actually surprised that Squarespace came out with this with all these features and it's free. Kind of surprised. This isn't the typical thing that you would see from somebody like Squarespace, but hey, um, it's an option and it's out there now. So let's go ahead and move over to the computer. So I'm gonna do an incognito tab and you can see here we're on Biosites or Bio.Sites from Squarespace. And you can go ahead and create a free Biosite today by simply typing in your username. So I suggest you go out there and get your username right now while you still can before somebody else comes in there and scoops up the name that you want. So go ahead and um, let's get started there. Yeah, once you've got an account set up through Squarespace or um, bio.sites, um, you can go ahead and start working on this. And it's pretty neat. And the one thing that I thought was really neat is I can actually create multiple right inside of one account. So I don't have to set up multiple accounts. Let's say if I had one for how to tech and then I did another one for my woodworking or another one for my gaming or wh whatever channels that I have, I can create multiple bio dot sites for different projects all in one. And if I wanted to, I could actually set up a different link and link out to those other bio sites that are set up. So let's talk about why I think these are pretty neat to another feature that I think they should add if they haven't already. And um, yeah, um, yeah, we'll talk about some of this in a second. And yeah, it looks like you can also probably register a domain with it, which is what I was about to say. If I could register this as my main website, if I wanted to go that route, it'd be pretty neat to do that as well. So let's get started first. This is what you see. You've got a few different templates to choose from, and all of our templates are gonna kind of lead back to a, a basic design um, philosophy that we'll mess with in a second. And then, um, yeah, let's, let's just kind of go through this. So we do have what's considered like a profile or a logo type image, and and we can see that showing up here. And that would be referenced in any of the different designs if we tried to go with something else. So we could see how that would look through there. I'm kind of a fan of this very minimalistic design philosophy we got going on here, but we also have some more creative options that um, do look pretty cool as well. And then, um, yeah, we've got some bold options that stand out a little bit more here. And uh, based off of your design language and what you like, maybe some of these will fit your brand or what you're going for more, but I like a little bit more of the laid back approach with it. We can go ahead and set the name and then add a description and we can kind of see how those are affected and updated here. And then we have our site URL and we could even make that private if we wanted to or make it public. And like I said, it does look like you might be able to assign your own domain name to it if you wanted to say, do like how to tech 
.org or .net or something like that, I could make it go directly to this instead of saying having to use a bio.sites forward slash how to tech. So there's kind of the basics there. And then we've got our background banner image that you can see here. And um, this is kind of where it gets neat and where I say that this is kind of set up a lot better than most of these other platforms. Let's take you through the different sections that I currently have set up and then the other ones that you can utilize for yourself. So the first one I have here is my social section. And you can see these buttons down here are assigned to those social sections. So I've got different ones for YouTube, Discord, the different platforms that I use, so say TikTok, um, X or Twitter, whatever you want to call that, Facebook, and even email. And you can set those up down through here. And I have to go ahead and give credit where credit's due. Um, most of your popular social media sites are on here. So it's kind of neat to see that we can link some of that stuff here and make it look really presentable and go through and add more or remove some if we wanted to say, you know, say if we wanted to get rid of Facebook, I could simply click this X and it would go away. And then we no longer have Facebook on here. And you can even reorder these if you want to. So if you wanted Discord to be at the front, you can move it up there and vice versa. And then it would update whenever you refresh. So social links, pretty neat, pretty in depth, more than I would typically see on most other websites. Normally they give you a bunch of the regular ones and then they just let you start adding in custom links and they don't have really custom icon or the cool icons for the websites anymore, which is kind of a downer. We also have the link section. The link section is pretty cool because we can go ahead and click on add links. And whenever we click on add links, it's gonna give us the ability to add in our own custom links. And we can even change how those look and preview on here as well. So you can go through, update those however you see fit and add more. So like for example, here, I'm linking to a specific product or a, a project that I did for Ko-Fi or coffee, whatever you wanna call that. Basically how I've got set up to where you can go get 100 plus free OBS Stinger transition. So you can go over there and pick up that. And that's useful for if I do any other projects in the future, do any kind of classes or um, release any kind of uh, training material in the future. It'd be really nice because then I'm not having to, you know, link to a certain social media page or something like that. I can link directly to the project itself and um, yeah, utilize it that way. We can also, as you can see, link to specific YouTube videos. They even have the option um, to link TikToks and shorts and stuff like that. So you could go in and link um, specific TikTok videos that you've made. Um, we can do text boxes. We can add more links in. Um, I don't use Instagram, but if you had an Instagram feed, you could link that in as well. Um, and that looks pretty good. Um, here's another place that I think is really, really neat that they're going through and they're adding options in. Um, you can add in tips. So if you wanted to receive tips, you can set that up. Um, you can add an image for the support me and um, you can select which payment platform you wanted to go through. If you wanted to go through Stripe or PayPal, or maybe even some other payment options, which I didn't even notice were here until I just clicked on this. Other than just having tips, we can do crowdfunding. This is kind of for projects. If you have a certain project set up, you can utilize this. Um, and then they have the option to through uh, PayPal or Stripe. Um, I've not really done much crowdfunding in the past, but it's a neat feature uh, nonetheless to have in here with all the other stuff. And if you wanted to remove this, you could click on it and then uh, just click this X that pops up outside and remove that. So like for the example, like the Kofi or coffee, coffee, whatever you want to call it, I'm probably going to add that into mine. And um, that'll be an option for my viewers as well. If they wanted to somehow support, um, they could utilize that. So pretty neat to see how you can link all this stuff together and have it in one unique page. If you wanted to set up a mailing list, you can actually do so right here and you can collect, um, you know, whatever options you want. Do you want to collect name, phone number? You got to, you got to collect at least one, um, but you know, go down through there and um, figure out what information you want to collect from the individuals. And then we can also add music. We wanted to add music from uh, Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud. Um, we can add videos or live streams directly in here as well. Be really good for a lot of you that stream to say something like Twitch. And then we can even add posts from specific social media platforms and add those on here as well. So that is a lot and a lot of stuff that you can do from the design aspect and the things that you can link. The things that you can link seems to be one of the positives that I've seen from this that isn't trying to um, get a bunch of money from you like other things would in the past. 
whenever it comes to this as well, you also have the ability to adjust the different fonts that are being used, the themes. There are quite a few default set themes in here and even some that are animated. And if you wanted to, you can go specific and just go in and customize the colors and set them up however you want them to be. So there's a lot of control there. And then we also have a statistics page and we can see how many that we've had from the last 30 days, seven days and one day. And we can see things like click through rate. We can see how many clicks and how many views have been on the site and the top click links and all that other stuff. And if you wanted to add like pixel tracking from, um, what is it? Google, Facebook, and TikTok, you can add those as well. I have no idea what that is, but if you know what it is and you feel like doing it, go ahead, <laughs> set that up. And then we can also set up how we want to take payments. And then we can also go ahead and just click on share. So yeah, we can do that and that's pretty much it. Whenever you're done, you can click update and now your site has been out there. Uh, it's now out there on the internet. You can click share and go to it. And if you wanted to add it to your other ones, blah, 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 get that copy your link, go and add it to all your social media pages. And then for example, here's mine, updated it a little bit, boom, got this link, stay up to date, got an email list, um, go through there, update however you see fit and start adding stuff for you and your viewers. So bio.sites, what's your guys' thoughts on them? I think they're pretty neat. I think it seems to be very action-packed as far as the feature set that it offers and also the ease of use and the customization that you typically don't see from a lot of these other ones that offer free options uh, or offer freemium options. By the time you want to really customize your stuff, you're actually paying like two or $3 a month or you know, say five or $10 a year. This is just free and it works and it's got a lot of customization and a lot of the social media platforms that you might already be utilizing and want to add to a you know hub kind of setup like this. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll have more videos coming out the rest of this month. And if you guys wanna see more stuff on websites and web development or just social media marketing and stuff based on this, let me know in the comment section down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Chad from How To Tech helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.